hello what's going on so you're watching see create and today we're going to create three animation i hope i'll cover this all animation in this one video but if not we'll make another these are the animation we are going to create today So the first animation we are going to create so for that we need to mask the text layer so let's create a new layer and type something dream change the font of your want looks good okay so so go to new and pick a shape layer make sure your shape layer covers the text Okay, so now come here and press P on your keyboard and put a keyframe here. So you want the text to be revealed, uh, let's say at one second. So just move this keyframe to one second and drag this out of the screen or maybe like here. Mm, let's put it out of the screen. Okay, so now it comes like this and I want it to stay for like 15 frames so I just want to come here and and just click this icon here right here this is uh, the icon for keyframe if you want the keyframe to be the exactly same as the last keyframe just press this or you can do the second thing which I mostly do you can just click this keyframe which you want to be copied and press ctrl C and then Control V so you can see the shape layer is stayed at one position for like 15 frames then I want it to move back where it comes from so move back okay so this is over like three second animation this is adjust the keyframe as you want okay so looks good easy is them Okay, so now uh, here comes our more shape layers. Create more shape layers. I want them to be created like this. So it will look like you know the bars are uh, revealing our text. So um, you can make them as you want. I think it's too thick, so I'm just going to make it thin. Uh, for the anchor point press Y on your keyboard and drag the anchor point on the shape layer so you scale it or move it so it, it will move according to the anchor point so now see I think it's look good let's put it to 70 nice okay let's make another so first I want to move our bar just like the shape layer so press P on your keyboard while selecting the bar shape layer and press keyframe here ok so make sure your bar moves with the line of your shape layer because the bar will reveal the uh, because the bar will reveal our text so just uh, just put the keyframes where you put the keyframes of your original shape layer Okay, so come here and um, adjust it to make it uh, to see our text we can do one thing we can decrease the opacity of our shape layer so just decrease it a bit so we can see okay now come again press p on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes because we want to copy the keyframes as we as exactly okay so i want it here so then Control C, Control V, or you can just click here. So it is dead. Then I want it to go back. So I'll just pick this keyframe, press Control C, and then Control V. So it go went again. Okay, so this is one of the bar I want to create two. Oh, by the way, easy is them. So just press Control D on your keyboard to duplicate it and press p okay so i want this bar to be you know a little bit distance from our first bar so just adjust is x coordinate okay. 
by the way if you can't see the panel like this just click here you can see the toggle switch mods so if you if your panel is like this and your layers are looking like this just press toggle switch mods and this will reveal the track mat portion okay so for the track pad part i just want to um, hide the shape layer which one this this one okay so just come to our text layer and go to track mat and also i made shape layer one which is this one okay make sure your uh, shape layer on which you want to you know reveal your text should be just above the text layer okay let's see what it does um play it decrease it a bit okay let's play it cool you can adjust it like uh, I, I want to make them a bit thicker and i want to make them a little small we created it looks good is it okay so for the next animation uh, which is much simpler than this just create a second layer second comp I mean and create X let's say sky make sure your font is bold okay so just drag any video and okay so before our effect in process we just make sure our background is ready so create a light background and uh, let's put a texture on it okay so this looks good okay so drag it down no, now for our text layer I want one effect on it which is right edges and you will see the find edges effect ok so put it on your text layer so now we our text have a slight you know edge or what we can say a stroke maybe ok so looks good now come on your uh, video there and put it to alpha mat and voila looks good isn't it so when you play it you will see the video is playing underneath our text so this is so much cool effect i really like it so I guess uh, this is all for today and for the third animation uh, we'll switch for another video so really hope you like this video so so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and keep supporting me and if you want me to create some animation and some thing you want to learn then just comment down below so this is all for today we'll meet in the next video take care